Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. Today we got a couple of packages in the mail. We got some DVDs to unbox, guys. We got uh, some really cool DVDs to go through today. Pink envelope. Don't think I've ever gotten one of these. But uh, yeah, it's been a while, guys. A little bit too long since we've made any kind of update or any kind of videos here. So I want to change that. I want to get back into the action. I want some videos up here. And uh, yeah, we're starting with an unboxing. So we got some DVDs from the UK. Uh, really cool stuff, guys. Hope you enjoy. So first up, we're going to open up this little pink guy first and uh, see what we got. This is from eBay. And uh, yeah, actually a really cool DVD set. You know, haven't seen this before. Probably might have seen it, but uh, first time I have, you know, had interest in buying it. So what this is, is a shoot interview with the Hebners, Dave and Earl Hebner. This is a autograph set by both of them. Um, yeah, very cool. So this is, uh, you know, when they first uh, were released from WWE. And yeah, if you could see here. There's uh, Baby Earl and then Dave Hebner. Not sure what happened here. He kind of signed the outside, like the plastic, first. And then, uh, you know, he signed the paper later on. So not sure what happened there. If it was a mistake, he signed quickly and then, you know, finished on the paper or whatever. Um, very cool piece to own, you know, probably the most famous referees in all of wrestling, you know, and they, uh, they were, you know, caught, you know, doing some, uh, taboo stuff, you know, uh, I believe they were selling WWE merchandise, you know, you know, by themselves without the permission and whatnot, if, uh, that's how I remember it, but, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. RF shoot videos. You know, they've done uh they've done interviews with pretty much everybody. So, very cool piece to add to the collection. Uh you know, Earl Habner's been in some of the most high profile matches you could think of. Uh, just pretty basic disc art. You know, I'll have to watch this and give it a review, but uh yeah, like I said, Earl Habner, Dave Habner they were a part of WWE for, I think, you know, over 20 years or something like this. 17-year uh, run. Uh, probably Dave Hebner a little bit longer. Because Earl Hebner was actually part of uh, the NWA and, you know, Crockett Promotions for a few years. I believe he was actually in the first Starcade. Maybe wrong about that. But, yeah, he was in the NWA for a while. Little Earl Hebner. Now, of course, Brian Hebner, very uh, well-respected official in TNA Impact Wrestling. I always like Brian Hebner. So, yeah, very cool piece. And then uh, let's get to this little box here. This little box has some pretty good stuff in it. Man, these are pretty cool to have, but uh, they're not really on my, you know, must-have list. I'm not really a big fan of... DVDs like this, but uh, we have a little flyer here. This is from WWE DVD CO.UK. So, our friends over in the UK, give them a look, guys. Always good deals and stuff. And uh, if you're looking for any Batman or comic book stuff, check out uh, Big Evil Games 10% off here. And, uh, yeah, use the code uh, FLYER2021 and the same at three count uh, wrestling merchandise. 
uh, Flyer 2021. They got figures, all kind of stuff. So yeah, check it out, guys. So we got, let's see here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine DVDs here. And this was actually a, a not that expensive. I think the DVDs were about $7.99 a piece. And the other ones were, you know, three or four dollars each. So, uh, you know, bang for your buck kind of DVD sets. Um, I, I really didn't expect these to be that expensive, but you never know with uh, releases like this. So, we'll save these guys for a finale. But, uh, you know, like I said, fill in the holes in the gaps and uh, trying to get a more complete collection here. So first up, we got some more Iconic Matches DVDs. Uh, these were originally set to be released, I believe, worldwide. Later on were UK exclusives for whatever reason. Becky and Paige, most Iconic Matches. And yeah, they only feature like three or four matches each. But, uh, yeah, similar, they released Roman Reigns, John Cena, a couple of others. But uh, pretty much just uh, three matches she had with uh, Charlotte Flair back in 2018. So their SummerSlam match, the match at Evolution, Hell in a Cell, I believe, is on here. So very cool. And then Paige, we got five matches on here. So I, I always like the, the concept of these, similar to the Superstar Collection, uh, which I still need a couple of those. Uh, these have five matches on here. Uh, matches with AJ Lee, the Bella Twins, Sasha Banks. Um, yeah, it's really unfortunate. Paige got her career cut short. Uh, always was a big fan of Paige. Next up. Uh... Uh, another one that was uh, UK exclusive back in uh, 2015. 2015 annual. Now, the Raw and SmackDown DVD set was released in the US and North America and other places. But the best pay-per-view matches from 2014 uh, never was. So that's pretty much why I got this set. So this is a six-disc set. Over 16 hours of entertainment, brother. Yeah, so that both both these sets were released separately, but uh, I, bl I believe this one was only on their website there. So I threw it in for three or four bucks, whatever it was. And yeah, got some WWE 2K16 uh, material. And yeah, just uh, six discs here. So yeah, more for completion reasons, you know, I always, I always like those best, best of sets, you know, whether, whether they're up to par or not, you know, it's cool to have them in the set and, uh, you know, 2014 had some really good matches on here. So, you know, we do have a complete match listing here as well. So very cool. If I ever do review this. You know, Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt, the Shield and the Wyatts from Elimination Chamber, Epic. And then some stuff from WrestleMania 30, Extreme Rules, Payback, Night of Champions with uh, the Usos, Goldust and Stardust, Lesnar and Cena, Lesnar and uh, or Cena and Orton, just a plethora of good matches from 2014. Uh, it was always a mystery why this was never released in uh, North America. Who knows? WWE changes their mind every five minutes on uh, certain things. It's really weird that, uh, you know, the UK has kind of exclusive rights to release DVDs like this, but uh, the US and North America chooses not to. We'll get into that with these next uh, pickups. So I didn't get all of them, but I got uh, six. So they released these in two batches. I'm pretty sure I grabbed uh, most of them anyway, the ones I'm more concerned with. And yeah, these are the WrestleMania 
re-release DVD sets. Um, again, similar to the best pay-per-view matches and these iconic matches, why they're only being released in the UK is a mystery, but uh, I'm sure if these were available worldwide, a lot of people would have grabbed them. Especially these older shows that are hard to come by, like we'll see in a minute, you know. So they are pretty cool. I still got them all sealed up and whatnot, but maybe we can open them. So yeah, I now have WrestleMania 14 in, I think, one, two, three, five, six variants with the legacy VHS tapes and all that, the anthology sets. WrestleMania 14 is always good to have on hand. This is like one of the only sets I have from the re-release sets back in, you know, 2012 or whatever they were. But yeah, pretty much similar artwork. And uh, next up, so yeah, I grabbed six of them. WrestleMania 15, you know, pretty much similar artwork and uh, to the original release. But we do have uh, the addition of Kane minus Big Show. So very cool. I don't know. I always like this cover for whatever reason, and. Uh, yeah, pretty similar style. There is a uh, little Easter egg on the side there. The uh, Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart, which never happened at WrestleMania 15. I don't know why they wouldn't take that out. Honestly, it was a it was a mistake the first time around. Why would you repeat a mistake? You know, when you have the chance to correct it, it doesn't make sense. So, Fremantle, good job on the releases. And next up here, you know, we got more WrestleManias. My favorite, WrestleMania 2000. I actually really like that cover. You know, plain, simple. It's hard to see with the lights and all that, but uh, let's see if we can do this. Yeah, it doesn't make it much better. But WrestleMania 2000, you know, will always have a place for me on my shelf. You know, pretty much similar artwork. And it is important to know it, as most newer DVDs have. Uh, they pretty much eliminated all mentions of Benoit on the cover art. But uh, his matches are still on there, like on here. It just lists the two-fall triple threat match. It doesn't list any of the participants. And same with the next couple. Um... I'll explain why I didn't grab the others in a minute, but uh, it's not really a money issue. It's just these are the ones I really wanted out of the bunch. You know, uh, WrestleMania 20 is fantastic, but I think edited down is is not going to be as good as the original releases. And I already have, I think, three or four variants of that, plus the anthology versions. So, yeah, that's WrestleMania 16. We had to get WrestleMania 17 just because it's always uh, good to have a backup on hand. And yeah, no real changes except for the WWE logo. And yeah, like I mentioned, no, no real mentions of Benoit. This is a two disc set. WrestleMania 16, only a one disc. Pretty sure only a three and a half hour runtime, so might be a one disc set where 17 is over a seven hour runtime. So I'm pretty sure they cut out a lot of the extras and whatnot from the uh, original versions. But it does say extras included here with uh, events that led up to specific matches, elements from Sunday Night Heat, front row access, superstar interview. So very very cool wrestlemania 18 you know i don't know what it is but the original cover just uh is so much better i really wish they would take these little bumper stickers off at least off of the front and spine just never really been a fan of the age ratings on the spines and whatnot and the covers save that for the back you know so very cool. It looks like the 
artwork remain pretty much the same. And it does say it's in a DVD extras included, including the uh, next nights on Raw and things like that. So WrestleMania 18, it's always been a favorite of mine. I know uh, a lot of people say it's a one match show with Hogan and Rock, but uh, I've always liked uh, WrestleMania 18. And then finally here, WrestleMania 19. So the first WWE WrestleMania. Uh, again, you know, not real much of a difference to the artwork. But uh, the spine is what's changed. You know, WrestleMania 19 always had the, uh, you know, the weird spines there with the uh, collection. So WrestleMania 19... I used to have the VHS. I did sell it a while back, so I don't have that anymore for uh, comparisons. But yeah, really looks good. Uh, you know, I always uh, like these. These three logos, I would say, are the three, my three favorite logos. You know, 17, 18, and 19. You know, I just love the, uh, what do you call that type of... Uh, where it's like fades from one color to the next and then with the, the gold and the silver, the blues and purples and whatnot. I always thought they were good color combinations for a WrestleMania logo. Um, and I always love the Roman numerals as well. You know, X7, X8, XYX. So very, very cool stuff. And uh, yeah, it does look... Uh, Looks like the extras are intact for WrestleMania 19 as well, including Goldberg's debut and uh, all kind of cool stuff. So if you're into it, if you're in the UK, check it out. They've been out for about a month now, just now uh, getting into it. We have, you know, all kinds of new stuff to uh, go through and give you some new reviews and whatnot. So... We got a hell of a haul today, guys. Let me know your thoughts. As always, if you picked anything up, comment down below, and we'll talk to you later. Peace.